Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, welcome to my channel. Ah. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my nail basics or starter kit. If you haven't watched the previous video, please go watch that first, because otherwise this, this isn't going to make much sense. But, if you just want to watch a basic starter kit from my point of view, then carry on watching. So, quick little catch up, I have never been taught professionally nails, I've learned everything from YouTube so far and these are the products that I personally like, that I find do a professional job, um, everyone will have their own opinions and you really have to do your own research uh, for what works best for you and what you like and don't like in a product. I'm just giving you my point of view disclaimer <laughs> okay so the first thing i want to talk about was nail lamp the nail lamp that i use i found on amazon i believe and it's the sun uv led nail lamp this particular company do quite a lot of lamps and they do varying different power outputs they do led uv led uvs um they do like travel ones, they do many things. I got this, it was on a really good offer I believe, although it's been so long since I got it, I don't fully remember. Um, it was it was a good offer though. And yeah, it's worked great for me so far. It is very strong. And sometimes I can find it gets a little bit hot, but it does have a low heat mode, um, which is really helpful, especially for people with really sensitive nail beds does come with a normal power cable I just took it out for ease to show you so as I said I found mine on Amazon um, I don't know where else they sell them uh, I don't know if they have their own websites and like that but they're super cheap on Amazon I'm sure they'll be on eBay uh, and you don't have to be a professional or anything to buy one of these so check them out if you're looking for a really good quality lamp here is just a close-up of the lamp so you can see all the buttons and yeah the next section I want to talk about is nail prep so all the things you will need before you start physically putting product onto the nails in terms of nail files I get mine from nail nails currently because they're super cheap and they work absolutely fine I've noticed recently they've just come out with their own um, I don't know what they're called but you know like this shape of a file they've recently come out with their own of these that I really do want to try because these are a lot more hard wearing um, but I just use the basic files they do all your different grits uh, they do the foamy ones, the really thin ones I personally really love I personally really love these ones they come in a pack of 10 I believe I think they're a pack of 10 and they're super 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 thin you can see they're really 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 thin and they're really good for just like nipping under people's sidewalls um and i find them really helpful i think sometimes the foam ones you can't get quite rightly in there and i like to make sure i'm really getting all those edges so i find these really helpful and these are in a 240 grit i also get my buffing blocks from there this one is ready for the bin, <laughs> but I'll show you it anyway. And these are, I think they're like less than 50p or something like that. Um, and they're just a buffer, they work fine. So these I get from New Year Nails also. So another thing you need for prep is a cuticle pusher or tool. You can use the little wooden sticks. I think they also sell like plastic or pumice stone cuticle pushers. I prefer a metal one, um, just personally, but you do have to make sure you're being careful. These ones I got, they have more of a pointed end if you want to go in and scrape anything off. And they have the more classic cuticle pusher type end that fits into your nail like so um these were around the same price as all of the cuticle pushes i found on on amazon um i'm trying to remember if i got them from ebay i was on amazon now 
I think I got them, I'm pretty sure they were from Amazon. <laughs> but like I said, they sell them all on places like that. And they came in a two pack. They also came with a little plastic case that you keep them in. I don't tend to use this because I keep it in my drawer. But comes with a set of two. They've worked pretty good for me. I will say that the copper or rose gold um, effect can slightly tarnish and wear and it has started to do on these um, obviously because you're sanitising them and things like that so it does tarnish but I still like them and I think it's really pretty. The next thing I have on my notes in front of me is a sanitising hand spray. Now I just want to point out that unless you're really doing nails on other people as well it's not going to be super necessary if, to make sure you have one of these but it can't hurt. <laughs> this is the, I'm never going to be able to pronounce this right, Queso, Queso Manicure Hygiene Spray and it's in pink grapefruit drizzle. Mine has some yucky stuff on the side because I leaked gel on it but that is the one I use and honestly it doesn't really smell like pink grapefruit drizzle it smells like antibacterial but it does its job I bought this on eBay I believe but I have found out more recently you can get it cheaper a website that I discovered not for this product I was discovering it for some nail art bits but um, I found that they did stock this brand of stuff and it's much cheaper on eBay I think I was paying between six to eight pounds for this and on their website it's like four or five pounds so check them out I'll leave the link in the description to their website it's called Galaxy Nails and they have some really nice bits as well they are really good at all the little bits that you would want for nail art and stuff like that and it's quite cheap uh, and they don't charge you a fortune for delivery either so if you're wanting something like this check them out the last thing I have on my list for prep I think it's the last thing yes the last thing I have um, I'm not sure whether to class this in prep or not, but I, I think it is, even though you're applying it to the nail, it's still still classed as prep in my opinion. And it is a primer. Unfortunately, my bottle looks disgusting. <laughs> because in the world of gel, everything is sticky. And when something leaks, it leaks. And the same thing that happened to this got all over this and kind of ripped all the label off. But this is the Gelux Salon Systems. Um, I think it was called Fast Bond, but it's their primer basically. Uh, I really like this, it goes really far and you really don't need a lot and I like this because I can use it for my gel and also for my acrylic. I just use two coats of it if I'm doing acrylic because it is a non-acid primer um, and I prefer to use non-acid primers, I just want to make sure it's extra secure. Uh, this again I got from either eBay or Amazon it wasn't that expensive but like six to eight pounds um, and for how long it lasts you it's really really good the next lot of items I'm going to talk about is gel polish now when I was like first researching everything gel polish brands was like a big thing because everyone loves their own brands and people are really loyal to it and some brands only sell if you're a professional some brands are really hard to get a hold of in the UK and Basically, I stick to two nail brands currently. The first brand of gel polish I tried out was Blue Sky because I'd heard so much about it on YouTube. It was super recommended. People said that although they do do a professional only section, they sell their products also to the public. I think they're just in smaller sizes or in different packaging, but they're exactly the same. Um, and you can buy them without being a professional. And I bought these purely for the fact that they're so cheap loads of people sell them on ebay and amazon and are registered distributors of them and they're like six to eight pounds a ball when you're first starting out and you really want to start building just a series of colors together it's really helpful to me i think they are quite good quality and um, some people may disagree i think sometimes some colors are less pigmented than pigmented than others but I think you kind of find that anyway. So I've just pulled out a blue, a green and a black super randomly. Um, so they do do glitters, clock. I 
Okay, now the clock starts chiming. Um, yeah, so they do do glitter colours. Uh, their black's really good, I will say. Their black is really good. Not too keen on the white. I got the white, wasn't that impressed. Again, this is what I'm saying. Some colours are more pigmented than others. The black could have been really rubbish too, but it's not. It's really good. Um, they do do glitters. They do your basic colours. I've got quite a few of them. My favourite um, is probably the nude. They do that I'm wearing at the moment, which is this one right here here I love this one and it's what I'm wearing currently but yeah as I said if you're starting out they are super helpful would definitely recommend the next brand that I want to talk about is Neo Nails gel polish brand which is Urban Graffiti um pulled a red out uh these are better than blue sky in my opinion I'm not gonna lie they are but you pay for better these range from they start around ten pound a bottle when you go to different finishes they're a little bit higher I don't think I've seen any more than 12 13 pounds something like that um, but usually for just their basic colors they're 9.99 these are super pigmented super pigmented um, really nice brush to work with I don't find that the bottles get as gunked up as the blue blue sky ones do which is really really helpful and helps me keep my nails stuff a lot cleaner and tidier um and yeah if you if you're looking to level up a little bit and you've got a few colors and you're going just for some interesting ones now then i would definitely check new nails out they have some really really beautiful colors and finishes and they're really affordable this is another personal favourite of mine, but this time a new nails one, and it is their Aurora Gel in Galactic Storm, and it is really cool. It's like colour shifting and pearlescent -y, and it can go on top of anything really. This is a really good investment because if someone's wanting something a little bit, a little bit glitzy, but they don't want to go too far out, this is something really easy you can trick on top of a gel polish colour, and it just gives it a little bit of extra something. The Neo Nail stuff, obviously you can buy it from the website Neo Nails. I will list that below as well for you in the description box. Okay, so now we're going to move on to acrylics. Uh, the acrylic system I use is Neo Nails. I haven't tried any other acrylics. Um, I think they're quite affordable. And also, when you have the YouTube channel to follow along with, it's really handy to have their products because you can kind of make sure that what you're doing matches that because there's no reason it shouldn't. <laughs> So the acrylic powders for this size, which is 33 grams, this is just a cover powder, I believe it was around £4 something, no more than £5. I have soft beige at the moment, this is super pretty and I don't know why, I don't know if this is all acrylics, but their acrylic powders smell like bubblegum. You'll have to let me know if that's a thing. And it has a really faint glitter to it, this, and I really like it. Um, I also have a tub of the Crystal Clear in the same size and that's all the acrylic I have at the moment because I'm not trying to be fancy and do any designs, I literally just want to sculpt a nail out and put gel polish on top. <laughs> the acrylic liquid that I use is their Max Adhesion Liquid. I use this because in her videos <laughs> she says that this sets the slowest. Now when you're just starting out that's really helpful. <laughs> The more time you have to play, uh, the better. And I think, from my point of view, first time ever picking an acrylic brush up, you don't really realise how quickly acrylic sets until you physically pick a bead of acrylic up and watch it set in front of you. Um, so this is super, super handy. And also, this really helps promote adhesion. And it said it doesn't need a primer with it. I still use a primer with it, just because I really want to make sure my nails stick. But apparently doesn't need a primer so if you were going to just go into acrylics you wouldn't need to purchase a primer with this which I think is really good considering it's the same price as all the other li acrylic liquids um, and I believe this was around £12 something yeah around £12 ish and they sell them in these 120ml bottles if you order a larger amount of anything you just get it in multiple 120ml bottles which I think is really helpful because if you had a massive bottle it can be quite hard to decanter out um, these are super handy and super durable, they don't leak and yeah I really like it. 
I also just want to add, um, since we're talking about that bottle, that I do also use that acetone. You can buy four bottles of this and it's four pounds something. It's super, super affordable and their acetone works really well. It's really strong. They also sell the gel residue wiper solution, which is basically just to get rid of that tacky inhibition layer. I bought this because I was using the Blue Sky top coat in the beginning. I have their Urban Graffiti top coat which is a tackless top coat so I don't tend to use this as much um, but it is handy just to wipe before you stamp or something like that and I like to have some handy. I believe this was around £3 something I think. It was around £3 something. It wasn't expensive. Lastly to do with acrylics um, I'm going to talk about the tips I use. Uh, there is always the argument between tips and forms. I have tried forms, I tried Neo Nails forms um, and still getting along with them. Uh, I don't feel comfortable at a point that I can use them properly um, but I think it's good to experiment and if you know you can pick up a few nail forms and have a go why not. So the tips I use again were from Galaxy Nails. I have square and stiletto ones and they are pre-pinched and yeah they're really nice and flexible but still quite strong and I really like them so far. These were around £6 ish a pack, one was slightly more than £6 and one was slightly less, I can't remember which style it was. You get 500 in a pack I believe so yeah really affordable especially comparing it to the prices of nail forms these are super cheap guys. The wipes that I use, I use different types. Uh, I have these wipes that are, they are lint free but they still will have some level of lint because they are still cotton. These I believe were four or five pounds. I just got them from an eBay seller. I also use these ones. These, the reason I use these ones is for finishing because these tend to rip apart after you've used them on a few, a few nails. These are good just for like little wipes, wiping brushes off, anything like that. And they just come on this big roll and you rip them apart. And this was from Neo Nails. They have, you can buy like one roll or two rolls. They come with 500 of these little squares. And they're super cheap. I can't remember how much, but they were, they were super cheap how many you got. Um, and these are just really handy. Uh, I don't reach for these as much, but they are really handy and I'm always glad to have them. Last thing I'm including is my cuticle oil. It is the same brand as my hygiene spray and it is in pomegranate. This one actually does smell like pomegranate though and it's really nice. Again, you can pick this up from Galaxy Nails for much cheaper than you will find it on eBay. I think it's like £3 something on uh, Galaxy Nails. And yeah, I really like this. Uh, it's great for putting on just before you take photos as well. Um, just remember to wipe the nails and don't get that smeary look on them. And yeah, really love this stuff. I've had no complaints from anyone that's tried it. And they all say it smells lovely and it feels really nice. And I have to agree. <laughs> Just wanted to pop this in at the end. I nearly forgot to show you guys my acrylic brush. This is my number 10 Genuine Kalinsky brush. And I got it on Amazon. Okay guys, so that is that. I hope this was helpful to some of you guys. If you want any more details about anything that I've missed or any just questions you have please feel free to drop it in the comments below uh, I will try and get back to you as soon as possible and yeah if you like this video please remember to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this and I will link all my social medias down below so you can go give them a follow thank you so much for watching see you next time guys bye